chaps, thanks so much for your time today. I'm, I don't know if you remember, but it's about six years ago, I actually interviewed you both with the rest of the Weezy family in the Great Hall just before the place opened. So it was a long time ago, but so much has happened since then. And every time I come back here, it just continues to amaze me. What does it feel like every time you guys come back? I think it's, to me, it just takes you back to a timeless era. As, as you said, six years ago, that's flown by. And it's, it's a case where it's, it really makes you appreciate what we were part of. Because when we're filming it, like we went in the Great Hall earlier, and it just flooded all these memories back to me, which I remember the first time I went back in there um, about two years ago, which was the first time in a long time. And I wasn't expecting that feeling. Because um, when we're filming in it, you just take everything for granted. Whereas when you're in there, you think, OK, this is a massive part of our lives. Is it strange coming back, like just walking to meet you now? There, there's photos on the wall, just seeing you and you know Ron hanging out on the on, on set and stuff. It must be quite a strange feeling, I guess. It is, especially. I think it's also strange because the sets that we were so used to are now behind barriers and you can't go in them. Like just just little things like the in the borough, for example, we actually creeped over the barrier because we can. Yeah. Um, not gonna, One of the perks. That, I think that's the thing no one's going to say. You can't... Oh, OK. Fine. It's like... No, you, <laughs> but it's like, just look around, things that you would literally just pick up in between scenes, like, I don't know, like a dishcloth or something like that. You just pick it up and then just ignore it. Mm. But then now it's obviously placed there for a reason and you... And that's that. So it's it really is something that we just take for granted being here, but obviously the public are in at the moment and I stuck my head around the curtain. You see all these guys just, like, really enjoying themselves. And um, the, these sets are fantastic. I think, is the, was the Weasley family set your favourites? Is that where you wanted to hang out most of the time? No, no. We're a bit too actually. tall. Unfortunately, we're, we're, we're a bit, we're a bit too, too tall. tall. Yeah. Luck, luckily, there's, there's gaps in the beams so we can get our head in normally. Uh, but no, actually, my favourite set would be uh, the Weasley's Wisdom and Weasley's Joke Shop, which here is, is more the frontage of it, but inside was just absolutely incredible to be part of because it's the only set that was built for our characters. And that, that was fantastic. And, and you mentioned that the intricacies on the on the on the designs, things like a tea towel that I just happened to be a tea towel. But but everything about the set was designed in such a special way. There were everything had a purpose, and uh, like even in the sweets would have sweets in and things like yeah. that. What was it like, you know, being on set and, and just finding all of these things that the production designers had built? It was great me? because being on a film set can take a long time, especially if you're doing a very long scene or with a lot of wide shots, and you're you're just stuck there. So you'd be. I remember at the Quidditch World Cup. And they had the, the Quidditch World Cup programme and each page had some stats about how the Quidditch players were performing or the previous games and stuff. And no one would ever see these. Oh, exactly. No one would ever think about seeing it. And we, we were like, Crumb did really well the other game. You know, you've, you've been reading <laughs> through it. And or the Daily Prophet had actual stories in yeah, it, which, yeah. which again, on the, on a piece, on the screen, it's there for what, two seconds and all you're going to read is the headline. But actually the actual story is, is there as well. So. The detail really cannot be emphasised enough how much went into it and especially that's what the tour kind of allows the public to see just how much work went into it. Absolutely and here we are in the Forbidden Forest which is the new attraction here at Warner Brothers Studio Tour. What did it feel like when you first walked in and saw this because it is quite stunning isn't it? It really is I think it's because it's so immersive as well so it does have the feel of a film set about it whereas um, you know sometimes you can you can just see something from one one perspective whereas here it's so immersive and it's the cool thing is that it's not like it's just, they've said that oh, we had some space, we'll put that there. When people see it, when it opens at the end of the month, it'll be very much a case of, you know, it's always been here. Mm. And I think people have a great laugh. There's, uh, there is a bit further at the top end, which gets a bit scary, okay. shall we say. All right. um, so watch out for that bit. I, I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but... But there is a bit where you could, if you don't want to go in the scary, scary bit, it, it depends what, you, you would find it scary, I wouldn't. But you could, you could avoid it, but there is, a, it, but again, it's just showing the craftsmanship for the animatronics and the, the creature effects and all that kind of thing. Just painstaking hours of just putting individual hairs on a creature. Mm. Things that you would never even think about, but then seeing it for yourself, you really have the appreciation. Absolutely. And what's life been like since Harry Potter? I mean, are you able to go out to Tesco and, you know, without people coming to go? Oh, Waitrose. Oh, sorry, sorry Waitrose, of course, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's good. It's, it's still, uh, everyone's, I think, playing Fred and George, they're like fun characters, yeah. so they're the kind of guys that people will be, be all right with. We, we were actually out once with Tom Felton, who played Draco, and uh, I remember like 
this guy was like said to Oliver, was like, hey, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Looked at Tom, was like, not you. And it just <laughs> like it was, it was quite a, quite a funny thing to just to be part of people's lives, really. Yeah. I think for me, the weird bit now is you meet guys who are like you know ten or eleven years old, who weren't even born when we started filming, and they're like. It's one of the wheezes, yeah. you know. So that stuff like that's still really funny for me. And Fantastic Beasts obviously came out just before Christmas. Have you guys must have seen it? Mm -hmm. What, what yeah. was your take on it? And were you a bit sad to not to not sort of be in it? I, guess? I think, yeah. Obviously, you are a bit sad not to be part of it, but at the same time, realistically, you couldn't be. No. You know, just a twinkle in my dad's yeah. eye. But there was. Um, I think it is the cool thing about it is that it shows another part of the wisdom world, um, and it does answer a few questions. And it's amazing now that you see as you were talking about the props and things were written on them. And those words or those characters were mentioned in those things are actually in Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. So stuff like that is really cool. No, that's very cool. And final question, you must get asked this all the time, but Weasley family meetups, do you guys, do you ever, you know, meet, meet up in real life or? or is yeah, we do occasionally if we're all in the same town or something like that. Then, uh, yeah, there's been a couple of times when, especially Rupert, Oliver, myself and Bonnie, I've met up for a, a drink somewhere. That's that always gets someone given a double look. It is quite funny, like, so if you do that, people look and go, oh, they must be filming. That's it. You know, yeah. Where are the cameras? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time today, and it's been great to, to see the new set with you. Thank you very much. Oh, awesome. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.